Beyond the Mic with Sean Dillon. We're trying on the sideline by the author of 25 acclaimed, award-winning, international bestsellers. You've read City on Fire. City of Dreams, his final novel, finishes the Danny Ryan trilogy, City in Ruins. We'll welcome the man enjoying his final tour, final book, but hopefully not his final conversation with us, author Don Winslow. Hey, Sean, how are you? Absolutely great, my friend. Great to talk to you again. Let's go be on the mic. Quote, the longer you live, his old man said, the more funerals you go to. You live long enough, you go to your own, unquote. How is writing this book, 30 years in the making, different than any other you've written before? I think because about two-thirds of the way through writing it, Sean, I had come to the decision that it was going to be my last. And so... um Coming around the home stretch of that, you know, I, I had some emotion um, and some reflection, you know, about what this career has been like, what the life has been like. Uh, so th- a sort of an awareness of that. And I think maybe maybe flavored the uh, some of the writing a little bit. Don, your parents love books and they made sure you were surrounded by them. What type of book did your mom try to put in your hands, no matter how hard you protested? <laughs> None. I'll tell you about my parents. Um, they allowed us, my sister and me, to read anything we wanted at any time, at any age. Um, and I don't think it's an accident, by the way, that two siblings in the house both became professional novelists. My sister published something like 42 romance novels, and, and I've published a few novels myself. So they never forced anything on us, and they never kept anything away from us. 39 years of unconditional support from your wife, Jean. Yeah. As these last days of media and book tours come to an end, what's the one thing you want to do with her? Boy, take longer walks. Um, we We had actually a bizarre accident a couple of weeks ago. She slipped off a little footbridge into a creek. Uh and was stuck in the water. I was holding her head up out of the water. She fractured a bone in her back. Um, she's better now, uh, ambulatory and all of that. But, you know, uh, 39 years of unconditional support is the absolute truth. So just looking forward to having more time, you know, more free time with her. What does your character, Danny Ryan, mean to you? You know, I've known the Dannys all my life. I grew up with them, you know, um, tight with them. Uh, it, it's funny how little self-awareness, though, you can have, Sean. You know, I was deep into the third book before I realized the parallels between Danny and me, particularly in the second book. You know, wandering the country for decades, you know, uh, just trying to make a living, trying to find a place to put my feet, trying for a little success and stability. And so, you know, in, in all candor, I think I realize now how close to Danny I am. Author of City in Ruins. Don Winslow joins us beyond the mic for the Rocky Nate. You can't escape it, Don. It's eight random questions. Answer with the first thing that comes to your mind. There's no pressure. <laughs> oh, no. You can't escape it, Don. You know it's coming. All right. All right. I tried to escape. Too late to run. Go for it. If you got arrested, who's your one call to? Uh, uh, a lawyer in Providence, Rhode Island. How do you drink your coffee? Black. Which are the five newspapers you read every morning? San Diego Union Tribune, Providence Journal, Washington Post, New York Times, and ESPN. If your hometown was going to name a street for you, what would you like it called? <laughs> the Don Way. <laughs> Very nice. Are you more worried about doing things right or doing the right things? Uh, doing the right things. Favorite trivia game? I hate trivia games. <laughs> Don, which bookstore on your tour is the one will be the hardest to leave? The two of them. Uh, Poison Pen in, um, in Scottsdale, Arizona, and Warwick's in San Diego. Favorite memory in your time in books? Wow. Uh, there's so many. Uh, listen, I, I think it's, it, it was in, um, it was in Scottsdale, actually. And a, a woman came up who had lost family in the Mexican drug wars and came up to tell me how much my books meant to her. It's time for the back half with author Don Winslow beyond the mic. At one point in your life, you had less than $50 to your name. Today, you have bestseller after bestseller, as well as a digital army of friends and a life well lived. How would you describe the emotions you have today? Gratitude. You know, it's it's really been striking me more than I thought it would, Sean, um, going out and doing this last tour. I was at a uh, mysterious bookstore in New York the other night, and I, I literally overwhelmed um, with with a feeling of gratitude for everything readers and booksellers have given me. 
People are calling the Danny Ryan trilogy your masterpiece. How does that make you feel? Oh, good. Great. You know, it took me 30 years to write the damn thing, you know, <laughs> and, 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 you know, it was trial and error and most of it was error. Uh, look, it's the work of my lifetime. And if, if people are saying that kind of thing, I'm, I'm gratified. Don, who are the writers that influenced you to where you are today? So many, again, big list, you know, starting with Shakespeare um, and um, Cervantes and Don Quixote. But in terms of my genre, you know, my beloved crime fiction genre, certainly Raymond Chandler, the grandfather of us all, Elmore Leonard, Lawrence Block, uh, so many. So why was it important for you to finish your career with City of Ruins? Because it was so hard to write. And because it, it represented a homecoming of sorts. You know, I, I left Rhode Island when I was 17. I, I've never written about it until this trilogy. Um, you know, during the writing of this trilogy, you know, both my parents passed away in Rhode Island. And so it, uh, it felt like a rap, uh, W R A P. When you got that first copy of the hard cover book in your hand, what emotions did you feel? It was a combination of, of satisfaction and sorrow. You know, um, it, it, it felt great to see that book because, again, it's been 30 years in the making, this trilogy. But it also, I knew it was the last time I was going to do that. Do you know what I mean? Open that box and, and see that book. Uh, and it, it does. It makes you reflective, you know. It's time for two nearly impossible questions with Don Winslow beyond the mic. As you approach the beginning of a new journey, how is completing Danny Ryan's journey Give you closure for yourself. Well, I, I've i wanted to be a writer since I was about six years old. Uh, now I'm considerably older than that. You know, I'm, I'm 70. Uh, and so, again, the, the, the Ryan trilogy, it was 30 years of that. And so it felt like I completed something I really wanted to complete that for a long time I, I wasn't sure that I had the talent to do. When Austin Butler finishes the City of Ruins movie... Would you consider your journey complete? I consider it pretty complete now. Uh, I'm very excited about Austin doing it. Great actor, good guy, by the way, smart guy, down to earth guy. Uh, but no, I mean, there, you know, there are several film projects going on about books of mine. Um, and, but, but for me, you know, as the author, I've, I've finished writing the book. It's complete. I still think you win best looking bald man of all time. <laughs> I think it's you, man. I, I can never get it shaved all the way down, you know. I I, uh, I lack skill. He hates trivia, loves his coffee black. He wants you to read his final novel, City of Ruins. Our friend Don Winslow, thank you so much for taking the time to talk with us today. Thank you for everything. You know, back at you. It's always a pleasure. Thanks for all the support. Always good to talk to you and see you. Feeling a little sad right now, so let's cut this off before I embarrass myself. You too, brother. That, my friends, is a Beyond Mike shortcut. If you're enjoying these conversations, please check out another Beyond the Mic episode to find more actors, artists, and people you need to know. We'd also appreciate a like and subscribe on the Good Pods app.